I'm doing a coaching course and today I was looking into judgment. So when I saw your title, I thought, yes, you instantly reminded me it's not important. Of course, that's the key to see that during a session with a client, judgments appearing are not important. So simple. I can also see that judgments comes from seeking and judgments perhaps even perpetuate the seeking. What do you think? Like vicious cycle. Thank you. Love from Holland. There needs to be a certain level of, a ju of judgment to appear on the human level. So you need to judge when someone's being inappropriate to you, otherwise you just, like, um, you'll not walk away, or if a dog is barking at you viciously. So there needs to be like a form of judgment. But then there is like excessive judgment. That this judgment that comes from seeking So when I work in a session, so most people, I've learned loads from doing the sessions. I'm so grateful for doing one-to-one -one sessions and I really enjoy, it's one of my favorite ways. So I love doing these online talks and I love doing one-to-one -one sessions with people. And it's such a teacher for me. Um, so I've learned a lot about psychology over the year and different emotional practices and how to do this and how to do that. But when I'm with somebody and I do a session, I, I totally, allow the flow of the body, <laughs> the flow of the body to, um, to determine my responses to people. rather than intellect, maybe not all the time, like you say one thing and then life contradicts you and I can't remember all the sessions, so maybe not all the time, but predominantly I don't respond to someone out of an intellectual knowing. I'm responding to them from this moment, from flow. And I, I trust that over my intellect and over what I know on a human level. And I think that's really beautiful to do that. It's really healing for someone to be experienced like that. And I think that's very different from being taught like different disorders, different mental health, like different stuff about psychology, although it's relevant, it's um, a different way of doing sessions. But it also might mean that people on a lot like mind level, might not enjoy, like the people that are too much on the mind level might not enjoy that so much because they want more of an intellectual connection or they, it makes them feel insecure or something. So one thing you could do, Ania, 
It's like putting your attention into the I am, you know, when you're sitting with someone in a coaching session. It's really vulnerable though, because normally when you become a therapist or a coach, you have like a system you follow. And so certain things that you say and certain things that you break up, uh, bring up. And then if you put your attention deeply into this moment, you can only respond to like your intuition and urges coming from the body because the thinking mind can't really exist for that long here. So vulnerable to do it. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of talking and letting the tummy grumble. And don't take anything that I say too seriously. Otherwise, you'll just get stuck in another judgment. <laughs> like, this is the only way to do coaching sessions. <laughs> just kind of... I see that all of its words, the most important thing now that's happening in this communication is presence. It's the really what I'm screaming is love, 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 here, 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 here. Beautiful, thank you. I feel so much love and softness coming up. Oh, that's nice, Anna. 